What's up everyone? Today we're filming another video on pivot tables. This time we're going to be laying out our values in a few different ways and you know, seeing what kind of data we can pull up and what kind of story we can tell. So here we have another YouTube channel, hypothetical YouTube channel, with different types of content. Each video has a certain amount of revenue it's made in its lifetime and a certain amount of views. We want to kind of summarize that data into a pivot table. So first we set up our pivot table here, drag the views into the values box, and we'll add type to the rows box. So very quickly we have a nice little pivot table that shows us views per type of video. But this is only part of the story because we didn't publish the same number of videos by you know for each type, so we want to kind of dig in a little bit. The next thing we'll calculate is how many videos of each type we published. So the easiest way to do that is to drag down type into the values box. And by default, because this is a non-numeric field, Excel is going to count the number of rows for each type. So we can see there are 32 cooking videos and so on down the list. We could also do this with the views metric but instead of showing the value as a sum, we count the number of values and we get the same result. So we'll leave that there. Next, let's throw views in there again. This time, let's lay out the values as an average. Now we could see on average how many views did each type of video get. We can immediately see that cooking is the clear winner. So we'll get the best ROI by making cooking videos. Next thing we'll do is put revenue down here. Quickly we can see that pranks made us the most amount of uh, revenue. Let's reformat this to be dollar amount. But let's see again on average which type is actually winning. So we'll go into our value field settings again and choose average. So this is interesting because although pranks won still won, the, the average value is a lot closer than we would think um, after looking at just the sum of the of the total revenue. So this paints a little bit of a better story. I hope this video has shown you there are different ways to lay out your data in a pivot table and help you tell the story you want to tell.